let's write a Java program to add two numbers using constructor as well as member function. Let's see both both methods of writing the program. Import Java dot lang dot star package. The built-in class string is present in this language package. Let's write a class called calc. Inside that let's take two integer variables. Note that in Java every integer takes four bytes irrespective of the machine used. Now let's write a constructor. It's parameterized constructor. Calc int a int b now assign the values of a and b to number one and number two let's write a member function now public is access specifier void is the return type sum is the member function name let's directly print the sum of the two values system dot out dot print ln now uh, not here the string must be written inside double quotes plus is concatenation operator now write number one it will print the first number value of first number and is a string now value of second number sum of number one and number two is now print the actual sum not here number one plus number two is written inside brackets so it will perform the sum and finally print concatenate the result here so this is the class class calc now write the main class that is add class add public static void main string args inside this create a create an object of type calc calc c this is declaration of object object of type calc class if you print this inside c you will have null for now Now the next step is c is equal to new calc calc you need to call the constructor this is how an object is created in java this is the procedure so now the object of type calc is created since it is parameterized constructor you need to pass two values value for int a and int b two integer values let's pass 20 and 10 now call sum since sum is a member function you need to call it using the object c dot sum that's it compile the program let's see what happened okay process completed now executed sum of 20 and 10 is 30 now note that these two lines can be combined and made it to one single line let's see how to write it by the way forward slash and star this is a multi-line command as you may be familiar with other programming languages calc c is equal to new calc 30 comma 10 this is how you can write it in a single line compile it and run the program sum of 30 and 10 is 40 
This is how constructors work. The value of 10 is copied to A and value of 30 is copied to A and 10 is copied to B which is then copied to number 1 and number 2. Using the object C dot and the member function sum, the sum is calculated and printed simultaneously. This is how constructor is used to initialize the values. See it again, the printing sum of 30 and 10 is 40. This is where the entire thing is printed to the console output window. Now this is how constructor works. But let's see how we can write the same program using a member function. Ideally, in such a situation, you need to use a constructor, but for the purpose of learning, we are writing a member function here. Let's take a member function and name it as assign and copy the same statements inside here because the working is same here. The difference is only in passing the parameters c dot assign since assign is a member function we need to use object c to call it now pass 30 and 10 so here we have an error double click it it will show a red arrow mark and point the cursor to the line where the error is present so we had missed the return type now we have done it sum of 30 and 10 is 40 the same result is coming. So this is how member function is used. Used. Now, but ideally, we need to use constructors for initialization purpose. So we will remind with that. We'll comment the member function. And retain our constructor. So that's it. This is how constructor is used as well as the member function is used for calculation, calcul adding two numbers. Thanks for watching. Please visit technotip.com and technotip.org and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and please spread these videos. Thanks a lot.